guys, it's James from HonestCigarReviews.com. In front of me we have, right here, it's probably our backwards actually because I'm using the other camera, but it's the Emilio AF2. This is the Corona size. Nice and, uh, nice and firm pack. Generously sent in from Gary Griffith from Emilio Cigars. Thank you very much, Gary. And we're also going to be pairing that with a Bell's Brewery Java Stout. I've heard great things about this. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. The uh, AF2 just has a really nice uh, barnyardy kind of uh, cinnamon spice kind of smell to it. Should be a very, very good cigar. And uh, yeah, so let's crack open the uh, Bell's Java Port here. Java Port, I think I said Java Port. Java Stout. Here we go. I'm a big fan of stouts. Let's just get the head going here. Woo! I didn't think I was going to get any head. <laughs> Insert joke there. But as you can see, we have plenty. I'm going to let that simmer down now. Went a little crazy on that. So we should get, obviously, some uh, nice coffee flavors from this stout here. I'm liking the cover. It has a crazy, crazy coffee cup going there. Very, very cool. Let's snip the uh, AF2 here. First flavors, I'm just getting a ton of like a brown, like a like a mellow spice with some coffee. So hopefully this is great with the uh, the stout. Still got a big head, I'd say three fingers, but wow, these are going to go great together. Just loads of coffee, a little bit of spice, and a nice kind of like leather oily finish. See you guys soon. I thought these were kind of a cool pair because, um, well, Bell's is where I'm from, and it's kind of like a microbrewery. I mean, they're getting really big, but I'd still consider them a microbrewery. Uh, Amelia Cigars is a boutique cigar, so definitely kind of a cool thing I'm trying to do with my boutique series here. As you can see, the ash is about an inch long, pretty much a razor-sharp burn there. Cannot go wrong with that. Uh, flavors, uh, again, are I'd say a sweet cocoa, um, a little bit of like a woodsy flavor. And uh, the finish is kind of unique. It has like a cinnamon licorice kind of finish to it. And it's, it's, it's sweet and a little bit of spice. Uh, definitely medium body, nothing overwhelming. And I can tell you what, it's going great with the, uh, with the stout here. Um, definitely a good pair. I don't think you can go wrong with these two right here. I just learned that um, this has an Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro wrapper, and the filler is actually a, a unique mix of Nicaraguan tobaccos and Pennsylvanian Ligero. So I never, I mean, it's pretty rare for me to ever hear any American tobaccos used as filler, but Pennsylvanian Ligero is pretty cool. I think I had a Psycho 7 cigar um, that had Pennsylvania Ligero in it as well. And if, in case you're wondering, the, the AF is actually for uh, AJ Fernandez. He does a ton of blending and, uh, you know, he's a big cigar maker. Um, so definitely a, a well-known, respected uh, cigar blender. But, uh, yeah, still performing great. <laughs> Back again with the AF2. About halfway done. Definitely the second third for sure. Ash is uh, holding on for another inch or so again. So I'd say it's pretty consistent. You know, when you're walking around, you can generally uh, expect it to fall off around the inch mark. Here's the last one. So seems like it's pretty consistent. I like consistent ashes, you know. Uh, flavors so far, not much has changed. I'd say it's gotten a little bit more chocolatey, uh, a little bit more coffee-esque. Um, definitely, uh, definitely a medium bite cigar. Not not something that you know I would say like oh my god if you're into spice or if you're into like the robust like crazy Ligero like flavors um, you know get this I, I would say this is more of just like a nice medium bodied um, uh, 
well-rounded cigar. You know, it has like leather, a little bit wood, a little bit of that licorice, and everything kind of just gets nice and rotated. All the flavors get rotated. So that complexity is something that is uh, very, for me anyway, very, very uh, sought after. So that's it. All right, again, I am back on the last, about, about the last third or so. Um, I'd say pretty much the same flavors as before, but I think the strength has gone up from a medium to a medium full body. So lots of great flavor. The nicotine content is, it's up there, but it's not like making me sick or anything. Uh, definitely, definitely a great uh, flavor bomb of a cigar. You know, I'm getting coffee and a little bit of like that deep, oily, like leathery earth kind of, you know, flavor. I'm also getting that like licorice flavor, but it's a little bit more spicy. It has a tiny bit more of like that, that uh, tingle on the tongue. Definitely a unique cigar. Um, as you can see, the burn is still perfect. Uh, the ash always holding on for at least an inch, and the draw has always been perfect. Hello there. I can't take myself seriously. Definitely the last bit here. It's getting a little bit spicy. Um, probably still gonna smoke it, but I'm getting more of an espresso note out of it. It's a tiny bit of like this like, you know, deep kind of like caramel flavor. But pretty much same flavors as before. Um, also just a little bit more earth right now. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's a very uh, complex cigar. I'd say it's nearing full body right now. Um, nicotine, pretty good. I'm feeling a little bit buzzed. Um, I don't know if you're into that kind of thing, um, but just a little bit never hurts anybody. And uh, yeah, I definitely can't uh, can't recommend these enough. Um, you know, I'd probably say it's probably like a 9.2. You know, construction-wise, it was pretty much perfect. No problems at all. And uh, that's pretty much it. Definitely try it with a uh, Java stout or any kind of stout or any kind of porter. Uh, and that's it. See you guys later.